Okay, sorry about that. I had some technical difficulties. Uh, my OneNote was freezing up on me. Anyway, um, I think I'm just going to post the videos as is because it's not like I'm trying to be a popular YouTube channel. So we had all this stuff from the Arctangent. And where are we? Where are we? We have. Yes, so I made an algebra mistake right here. So I wanted to get this derivative by itself. So I should divide over everything else, which means this should actually be 1 over secant squared. And secant is 1 over cosine. So there's this relationship where 1 over secant is cosine and 1 over cosine is secant. So this is the same thing as just having a cosine squared of arctangent of x. And now everything works out. So I come up here. Cosine squared of arctan x is 1 over 1 plus x squared. So I have 1 over 1 plus x squared. Okay, there we go. So derivative of arctangent x equals this. Um, if this approach has been confusing, then um, the good news is I don't know if we're going to ask you to actually derive anything with the chain rule. Um, you could try. Um, take a derivative that you know. So like we know the derivative of the cube root is one-third x to the minus two-thirds. But see if you can get this result by starting with a function, which is x to the one-third, and then look at look at f of x raised to the third power. That's x. Now take the derivative of both sides. You'll get something where because of the chain rule, on the left-hand side, you'll get a multiplication by f prime of x, which is the thing we're trying to find. Right? We're trying to find f prime of x. We're pretending we don't know it. And then you just solve for that. Just see what you get. Uh, all these reference triangles and things, they're, you know, they're a lot trickier than just the powers. But get a feel for it with just the powers first, for sure. Anyway, um, whether or not you can do all that, it, really applying it at the end of the day is what a lot of calculus is going to matter uh, or use it as. So let's do a few of these. These are just from the book. Um, so if y is equal to arc sine x plus 1, what is dy dx? Which this is just another way to say what's the derivative of y. Well, we know the derivative of arc sine x is 1 over root 1 minus x squared. So this is 1 over root 1 minus, and I leave the inside the same, x plus 1 squared, times and it's a chain rule. I do the derivative of the inside. But in this case, this whole part just evaluates to 1. So really, your final answer is just this beast here. So again, that was just chain rule. Leave the inside the same. Derive the inside. Let's do it for 6. So f prime of x. Right? I'm switching notation because I'm using my notation based on what they use. So here I have f, so I have f prime. Here I have y, so I have dy dx. Okay, so the derivative of arc tangent is 1 over 1 plus the inside squared. And then I have to do times the derivative of the inside, so the derivative of 3x. And here's it. So this is 1 over 1 plus 3x squared times derivative of 3x is 3. Here's my answer. I'll do one more from this section. I'll just go with 7. So d, p, d, x. Right, so I have a, a 3, which is just going to come along for the ride, 3. And then derivative of natural log is 1 over, and then I have all the stuff from the inside, of x plus 3, times, and now I have to do the chain rule, so the derivative of the inside, x squared plus 5x plus 3. So this is 3 over x squared plus 5x plus 3, times... 2x plus 5. And if you just write it like this, you lose points because it looks like the multiplication is only affecting these two things, but the multiplication should affect the entire binomial. So we need that in parentheses. 
Okay, so that's good from the beginning section of problems in the textbook. Let's look toward the end. I like 20. And maybe we'll try 22. Is there anything else I want to talk about here? We should do like a, I guess we'll talk about 21. Uh, the point of 21 is um, be smart. And what I mean is use your, use your past, use your past knowledge. But we'll look at 20 first. So f prime of theta. All right, well, derivative of natural log is 1 over the inside. And then I have to take the derivative of the inside. So first off, 1 over the inside. The inside is cosine theta. All right, so the first part is derivative of natural log. Keep the inside the same. Then derivative of the inside. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. So I have negative sine over cosine, which is negative tangent. So a function whose derivative is, is negative tangent is the natural log of cosine of theta. So that's kind of gross. But, okay, it is what it is. That was 20. Let's look at 21. Okay, so again, be smart. So f of t is the natural log of e to the natural log of t. And e to the natural log of t, that's just t. So really, f prime of t is just 1 over t. That's it. Um, all right, 22. And then we're going to call it good. So we have arc sine, which I'm just going to abbreviate as as because I'm lazy, of y squared. And we want to take its derivative. Um, in fact, they call this they call this f of y. Okay, so f prime of y. So I first take the derivative of the outside, which is one over the square root of one minus blop blop squared, where blop blop is just whatever the inside argument is, so y squared. And then I have to multiply it by the derivative of my inside function. So my final answer, I have two y on top, which was the derivative of the inside, and then I have square root. 1 minus, and I'll just combine this, and that's y to the 4th. Okay, there we go.